actually started to rain late last night. It made the temperature all cooler. And with that in mind, what was going on today? This was kind of interesting where I guess a lot of people, they often say anything in the air is a drone, for example, even if it's a bird. How about this with a detection system that will differentiate, according to this, I guess, between like a bird or a drone. This one says Detect Inc. announces world's first dual function bird and drone radar system. Merlin, BDR, DDR. In operation since 2003, Merlin Aircraft Bird Strike Avoidance Radar is now available with True3D for simultaneous bird and drone detection at commercial airports and military airfields. Detect Inc. announced today the introduction of the world's first dual function bird and drone radar operational on U.S. military installations, Merlin BDR DDR. Developed for real time tactical operational bird strike avoidance, Merlin now has True 3D for simultaneous bird and drone detecting capabilities. The proven technology can be integrated with radar directed electro optic infrared camera system and drone watcher. RFDR radio frequency drone detection and interdiction. The system comes in a fixed or mobile design, fully self-contained with all system hardware, software, and integration included. So that's kind of interesting in that sense. It makes me wonder though, in terms of, I guess, putting these detectors around airports and stuff like that, there are actually some people who have, I guess, bird-like drones to scare away birds and all that. I'm guessing just based on this and what they wrote, you would be able to detect the difference between that type of bird and an actual animal one. But who knows? I guess this will make it more clear in terms of what people see in the sky anyways. I mean, you know what you've read in the news where even if it's a plastic bag floating in the air, everyone says it's a drone. And how about this, I guess, around the area, apparently there's going to be, what, dangerous materials being transported by a drone? But I guess it's supposed to be a good thing because it's basically trying to demonstrate, hey, we can deliver this stuff from drones now. This one says, Drone Delivery Canada launches dangerous goods transportation for UBC's remote communities, DTI program. It says here, Drone Delivery Canada is pleased to announce the successful approval and implementation of dangerous goods transportation for the University of British Columbia Faculty of Medicine's Remote Communities Drone Transport Initiative. The DTI is currently utilizing the company's drone logistics solution to enable a defined two-way delivery flight route using the Sparrow drone and its drone spot takeoff and landing zones to transport a variety of cargo for the benefit of the Stellatin First Nation and the village of Fraser Lake, located in central northern British Columbia, Canada. And according to this, they were approved and everything to do this. It says this is another significant achievement by the organization to be the only remotely piloted aircraft system operator that has been issued a TDG certificate. We're very happy to support our customer, UBC, with the flexibility of transporting dangerous goods via our drone solutions. It's kind of funny, just in terms of transporting dangerous goods, again, when people hear a recreational drone, they're assuming, oh no, it's gonna kill them or spy on them and so forth. But I guess, as I mentioned, it's going to be a thing where commercial operators are gonna be using this stuff. Will people suddenly be okay with it or no? Will the hysteria and stuff still be there? And I wonder if this is gonna be a sign of things to come here. Apparently in the US, they declared like what? Monkeypox, an emergency now? This one first says, White House declares monkeypox a public health emergency. Health and Human Services Secretary Xavier Becerra declared monkeypox a public health emergency during a call with reporters and officials Thursday, as monkeypox continues to surge throughout the United States. And it says, we're prepared to take our response to the next level in addressing this virus and we urge every American to take monkeypox seriously and to take responsibility to help us tackle this virus. And there were a bunch of other sources pretty much saying the exact same thing, where they're declaring it as an emergency. Would this be an emergency in the same sense as all the COVID stuff as an example? Or are they gonna say, shut everything down? I don't know if people will be okay with that just after everything that's been going on so far.
Hey, see you guys later.